ask you a question, sir. Let me ask you, be honest. Yes. With my due respect. Of course. Are you born in this country? Are you, are you Thank from, you very much. Are you please, please. Iraq or I'm asking to the gentleman. Uh, uh, Sir, Fadlan, with my due respect, I am Fadlan not from this country. Fadlan I am British, Fadlan but I am not English. I'm not born in this country. Okay. But I respect Fadlan. I respect the rule and the reign of this country. My question to you. Sir, where do you come from, if you don't mind, please? South America. South America. God bless you. God bless you. Why didn't you apply for asylum Why in Saudi Arabia? Why all this problem with the region? Why? You, you, sir, you said you're not born here. No, but I, I, if it was country from God, was, was colonized was by God. Right? Okay. Do you know your time of my birth? Do you know your Quran very well? Sorry. Do you know the Quran? Not really. Not really. 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 Thank you for being honest. In the Quran, he said to the Ummah, to the Muslim, do not take refuge in a infidel country apart from two reasons: for Dawa and for health to get to get help. Habibi, Habibi, my question to you, Saudi Arabia yeah. is the center of Islam. Why Iraqi and Syrian will not ask for refugee in Saudi whilst they came to Great Britain and to Europe to ask for refugee? Economic reasons. No economic reasons, sir. That's one of the thank you for being honest. The Saudi mama, the Saudi will not give asylum to anyone. That's right, not really. That's right. Yes, I challenge you. Give me one asylum in Saudi. I will give you my shadow right now. Give me one asylum in Saudi. No, no, no. There are thousands and thousands of... Sir, no, no. sir, you are well educated. I, I was here. Habibi, you are well educated, I, I, sir. Who's my dude? Ustaz, do you speak Arabic? Some, 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 some of them. Habibi. I wanted to find out about... The Quran clearly said, do not make friends or do not ally with the non-believers. It's very simple. Yeah. And today, yeah. if you are here for Dawah, that's, that's a different reason. But if you are here for the economic reason, you are judged by Muhammad and by Allah. My friend, I came here as a Christian and I become a Muslim. Then you have to leave this country and go to Saudi. Go where? Go to Saudi Arabia, the center of Islam. Habibi, I, I, I'm not talking to you, I'm talking to the gentleman. Sir, I'm not talking to you. Sir, to my Give us the verse. Allah said, when the angels, when the angels, they take your soul. They take your soul, for example. They will ask you, what was your condition in the land? Okay. What was your condition in the land? So, and if you we are weak in the land, our parents if you are religion. weak in the land, then they will say to you, our religion from our wasn't parents. the earth spacious enough so for you to go? So wherever you go, wherever you go, we it's the creation of Allah. Allah created okay, everything. Do you? No, no, no. no, no. I ask you one more. Sir, Habibi, what's your name, Akhil? What's your name? Yeah. My name is Christopher. John, John. John, John. John. Yeah. Do you know your Quran very well? Some of it, not all of it. I'm learning, I'm learning. Okay. Can you recite to us chapter 47, verse 35? Can you read it for us, please? Yeah. You tell me what it says. Okay, I'll tell you briefly. Here in the Quran, chapter 47, verse 35. He said to the Muslim, do not, yeah, chapter 47, do read it for us, chapter 47, verse 35. And the, this brother, he said himself, he was what? A Christian and converted to Islam. And I believe, and I believe, and he knows that Islam is peace. Well, I went out, I want to hear from his mouth what this chapter of the Quran says. 47, what? Chapter 47, verse 35. So be not uh, weak and ask not for peace. What? What? So be not weak and ask not for peace. Thank you very much. While you are having the upper hand. Thank you. Oh, stop it there. Stop it there. My Muslim friend, especially to Muslim, please understand carefully. We are not here to judge you, sir. Okay. That's your own Quran. Let your Quran, your own Quran say what we say. We are not exaggerating. Here, the Quran, you read to us, sir. You read it, sir. He's the one you are apprehended in here, even in Saudi Arabia. When you are apprehended, do not ask for peace. Yeah, 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 yeah. Who made this? No, God. We keep reading, please. God doesn't talk. You read to us, sir. Doesn't have any. This is all man made. And we, 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 we wanted to. That's very good. Let him read it. Did you find it? There's oh. ever, ever God, really God, talk to women, and that with me, I'm telling you, no. No revelation. There is no holy book. The only thing. Chapter 47, verse 35. Is the rain. Or 
the shit of the birds or some nazai from that. That's it. Otherwise, there is nothing come from there to us telling you this is holy book. No, 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 just read the Quran. We don't, we don't believe the tafsir. No, no, because uh, it could be, it could be zaif. It could be a Nur of said, no, no. because there's only two sources, Habibi, you don't know that. Oh Sahih al-Bukhari and Sahih al-Muslim is most authentic. And anything against Muhammad is fabricated, it's not good, it's Sahih, but anything is for Muhammad is good. Read us the Quran, sir. Tell us what the Quran says. Read it to us. It's the tafsir. You got tafsir. Okay, give us the tafsir. Okay, go on. If you were so will, we could have shown them to you so that you could recognize them by their faces. And you would certainly know them by the manner of their speech. Allah knows all your deeds. No, no, no. So they, this is not. That's what. The, that's what the Quran says. That is what. Uh, no, no, no. Okay. Okay. Now, now. Okay. Now read the Quran. Now read the Quran. Brother, brother. Now read the Quran. Now read the Quran. Chapter forty-seven, verse thirty-five. Let's see. This tafsir is consistent with the Quran. Read it. Read it. Chapter forty-seven, verse thirty-five. No, brother. Please, please, please. Yeah. Read chapter 47 verse 35. Do not cry for peace. and do not cry for peace. Ah. Ah. So prevail, Allah would do it, would not bring your works to not. Do, do not cry for peace when you are yeah. upper hand. Yeah. The life of this world is for spirit yeah. and amusement. Yeah. Brother, yeah, yeah. brother, right? brother. Yeah. brother. Yeah. And you believe in the Lord yeah. here. You grant to your reward and you will ask you for your possessions. Not for your, for your possessions. Thank you very much. He said in the Quran chapter 47 verse 35, when you are up, Habibi, do not cry, what? Do not cry for peace. Thank you very much. The Muslim tell us, do not, that means, do not pursue peace. Do not call for peace when you are apprehended in an infidel country. And that is the religion of Muhammad. Muhammad, yes. It never said uh, in a foreign country. That's what he did. Where? Where? Where is that? In Saudi? In Saudi? He never said that. I know you are killed Shia in Saudi. They kill Shia in Iraq, in, Iraq, in, in, in Turkey. Right. I know he's right. The Shia are no welcome in Saudi Arabia. The Ahmadiyya, they are no welcome in Saudi Arabia. Apart from pilgrimage. Because the Saudis, they get money. One stone, five dollars. And they have to throw seven stone at the black stone. Each stone cost five dollars. They have. I've been to my mama went to Saudi. Yeah. My brother went to Saudi, and he said we have to pay for everything, including. Lying. No, she is not. She's a liar. She's a Muslim like you. Wallahi, she's a liar. Oh, you are a liar, not here. I've been in two times. No, you are a liar, not here. Every Muslim, they have to pay for the stone, which they stone the black stone. Five dollars. No, listen, I, I came to talk to you because I think you were genuine and honest. I, I love you, Habib. But well, you're lying. No, no, I'm not lying. You're lying. Okay, I okay, went to Hajj. <laughs> okay, okay. He showed you okay. stones on the road. You from in the road. The on the road. The, on the road. On the way to Jamara. Oh, you he's very clever. You, he's, you, you didn't pay for stone, lying, yeah? Lying, you didn't pay for stone, sir. Listen, listen. Okay, okay, me, okay, let's go to what? Talk okay, Habibi, honest, Habibi, okay. Honest, I'm right? honest, I'm not lying. Every, every Muslim, they pay when they go to Saudi. Yeah? Every Muslim. Pay for what? Pay for the hotel. Pay, I have seen a black people like you, my due respect, because they have no money, they have to sleep on the street, sir. Because they can't afford a hotel. Why Saudi will not give them shelter? Yeah. Why? Why? I'm asking you. Because what? Hajj. Habibi? It's pilgrimage. I, no, I know. Allah said they go to Saudi. Listen, listen, please. Allah said about the Hajj. The Hajj is a responsibility in every Muslim. Mm -hmm. If you have the ability, mm -hmm. right? If you have the ability to do so, okay. then you make a Hajj. But you have to prepare yourself. That means for hajj. that Muslim who are going to Zerah sleeping on the, on the street, they are lying. No. But what I'm saying, a lot of them. A lot of them travel for months, right? And when they come true, they, 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 they do the hats for free. Are you, sure? are you sure? Are you sure? Okay, are you honest? Let me ask you one question. Okay. Have you been to Saudi? Yes, I have. Did you kiss the Blackstone? No. Why not? Because I couldn't get to the Blackstone. Thank you very much. He couldn't get... <laughs> oh, the brother. He's very honest. He couldn't sorry. get to the Blackstone. Yeah, I couldn't get... Oh, <laughs> <laughs> He's honest. He's a sincere man. I love you, man. Have you been shukran? Tell him, tell him. Have you been shukran? Have you thrown the stone? Please, please, please. Shukran. Thank you for being okay. honest. Okay. Okay. He said I couldn't make to the Blackstone. Yes, sir. I want the Jews. I want to say I want to say kill.
Listen, listen. Go on. Go to the books of Joshua. Huh? When Joshua put a stone under an oak tree and yeah. worship, and worship there. Yeah, but we don't worship the black. We don't worship. We don't worship. Joshua. Habibi, we are here. I know. I know. I know. I know. I know. Right. And if the Jews. Yeah. They use for lacqueries. Yeah, I know. I know. All right. I know. I know. And it's in the Bible. I know, but we don't do that. Nobody worship. We, no, we don't do it. We don't do it. We don't worship. No, no, the we don't do it. You know why? Why? You know why? Because all the prophecy, including the Mosiah glow, yeah. all fulfilled in Jesus Christ. No, no, he didn't. Yeah, it, it is. He I'll didn't. tell you why. Go I'll to Acts. Okay, let me give you. Okay. Go on. I'll show you where he didn't fulfill it. Okay. Jesus said, I will come back in the lifetime of my companions. Mm -hmm. This is not after the resurrection. Mm -hmm. This is, this is, I mean, that's before the resurrection. This is okay. after the resurrection. And he said, some of you here will never face death. Where is Jesus? His disciples have died. Where is Jesus? He I'll promised that he will return. I'll tell you why. He didn't I'll, return. I'll, I'll, so this, the, what do you say about this? Okay. Right? Because, okay. Right? Okay. Where did he fulfill I'll, this? I'll tell you. I'll Can tell I show you where he no, said I'll, he I'll tell return. you. Let me ask you a question. I know, I know by heart. I don't know the verse. Okay, let me ask you a question. Okay. Let me ask you a question. You can't ask a question with a question. I know. No, no. I, will, I, will, I have to because we, we are the Bible believing priest. We are the Bible believing okay. believer. We are. I will ask you a question. Okay. Uh, please, please. Okay. Start. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Just, just be patient. Yeah. I listen to your question. Just listen to my answer. Okay. On the Mount of the Transfiguration, yeah. when Moses and Elijah came, yeah. and Jesus was transformed into His glory. That yeah. means with the glory He had from before the foundation of the world. And guess what? Hold, I'm not finished. Please, please let me finish. Okay. And Peter said to Jesus, "Let us make three tabernacles. One for you, one for Moses, one for Elijah." They knew that it was Moses and Elijah. So what is Moses represent and what's Elijah represent? Moses represent the law, Elijah represent the prophets. Hold on. A voice from heaven said, This is my beloved son, Jesus Christ, in whom I am well pleased. Listen to him. So the all the apostles, Peter, James, and John, Thomas, you know, all the disciples, they saw, even Paul, they all saw that Jesus will come in their lifetime. He didn't, but he didn't come. Ellen G. White, no, hold on, Habibi. Ellen G. White, the founder of the Seventh Day. Please let me finish. Ellen okay. G. White, the founder of the uh, uh, Seventh Day Adventist movement. When Jesus didn't land on the Mount Zion, he said Jesus remained before he reached the cloud. You see, Jesus Christ said, "No one knows that hour and the time which the Father have set it, even the Son." While he was a human on earth, in that state, he didn't give us that hour because only the Father in heaven yeah. will send the Son back to judge the living and the dead. Okay. So, but why didn't Jesus return? He promised, he said, I will come back in the lifetime of my, my companions. But you see, uh, before they die. Okay. And he also said, he said, some of you here would never taste death. Okay, can I ask you? Okay, let, let me, so let me elaborate. Okay. How many books in the New Testament is written by John? Yeah. You said you were a Christian, sir. I, I Please, be honest. You said it was my duty. You said you were a Christian. How many books, brother? It's very simple. How many books were written by John the Beloved, not John the Baptist? No, no, Are you laughing? You you're laughing. No. Were, you, were you a Christian? No. Were you a Christian? Yeah. No, no, she's a Muslim. Right? Habibi, Muslim. I know. No, 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 How no, many no, books no, were no, written no, by John? None of them as far as I know. Uh, uh -huh. no, 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 no. None of them. Five books were written by John the Beloved. The Gospel of John. Hold on. I will, I will tell you. I'm a Christian. Okay. I'm not a Muslim anymore. But if you type a certain scene in the Quran, I will tell you. Yeah. Because I'm not lying. Five, okay, Habibi, listen. Five books. John, the Gospel of John, the last Gospel. First John, Second John, Third John. That's four, and the book of Revelation. So there's three Johns. Yeah. Four, no, the letter, the epistle of John. First epistle, second epistle, third epistle, and the book of and the Habibi. You asked me a question, sir. Let me answer your question. None was written by John. Uh, Allah tell him? None of them. Uh -huh. Four marriage writing. Huh? What are you doing? Four marriage. Four five. Who? Allah telling me. Oh, Allah can give you. Yeah. You, you, you have zero. Zero. None of them. None of Let's them come back. Allah the, telling me, not for Allah. You. Allah is dead, my friend. Allah doesn't know. Allah will not give you virgin with my due respect. Habibi, the book of John, the gospel of John, first epistle, second epistle, third epistle of John, and the book of Revelation, which is sealed by saying, hold on, I'm not finished yet. Therefore, the Quran with my due respect is not, is not the last revelation. You know why? Because the book of Revelation is the last revelation which is given to us by Jesus Christ. True, beloved John, he said, 
the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, not the grace of God even, not the grace of the church, not the grace of the apostles, but the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. John chapter 20 verse 21. John came after the demise of Jesus. No, no. Long after. John, no. 400 no. years after Jesus. No, John. John, John, John saw Jesus on his glory in a mount of the transfiguration and then the book of Revelation was given. Long after Jesus. Okay. You said when Jesus was preaching on the mount, when he was teaching the people. Yeah. Which book he was teaching what it, what it was, you mean the gospel? Yeah. What, which gospel? You mean the gospel? Yeah. There was no gospel. Right. There was the angel. But the gospel was written right. after Jesus. And the, the gospel, angel. the gospel is pre-cross. Sir, sir, you ask me a question. Yeah. Oh, you ask me a question. Let me ask you one question. Yeah. Okay. You can answer questions. No, I don't know. Of course, I have to because I have to because you don't. You see, I'm telling you, Jesus. Yeah. There was no the gospel in the heart of Jesus. Jesus was but, Jewish. No, the, I know, but there was, was but there was the, the there was the Torah, the Sabur, and the and the, and the and the proverb in the time of Jesus. For example, for example, when he called in 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 in, in Luke, Luke. Be patient, I'll go there. One second. Here is referring back to one of the prophecy in the Old Testament, in the book of Isaiah. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. Yeah. Now she's talking about the gospel. Yeah. To preach the gospel to the poor, he has sent me to heal the broken heart, to preach deliverance to the captive, and recovering of sight to the blind, to say I live with them that are to preach the acceptable year of the Lord, and he stopped there. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, he stopped there. Yeah. The gospel didn't exist. Well, it does exist. It was exist. I'll tell you why. No it was, it was, it was. Isaiah chapter, no Habibi, Isaiah chapter 53. No uh, let me ask you a question. You ask me a question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ask the Bible. Christian. Bible. Ask the ex Muslim Christian who knows the Bible better than you. With my due respect. Okay, so you said you were a Muslim, you were a Christian. Genesis chapter 3, verse 15. Tell me what it says. The mic is yours. But you said you were a Christian. I was, but I wasn't a practicing Christian. I was just Christian by name. Thank you very much. So let me tell me let me tell you that is the first gospel which was preached to the mouth of God the Father to Abraham, to sorry, to Adam and Eve. And I will put enmity adversary enemy between you the devil and the woman between your seed help hold on the devil have no seed the woman have no seed is god confused about the, the nature of man and woman i will put enmity between you the devil and the woman hold on between your seed and the seed of the woman and guess what hold on the seed of the woman will bruise your head and thou shalt bruise his heel that's the gospel of jesus christ what, what, what i'm saying Habibi, no, but please ask my question. Mark, no, no, John, no, no, we are not going. I know, I, I know, I know. We are not going, not yet. We are not going there. We, don't even know we are talking we are. about Genesis. We are talking about Genesis. Okay. Talking about Genesis. Genesis chapter 3, verse 15. Okay. What was it in the beginning? No. In chapter Genesis. What was the beginning? In the beginning, God, Elohim, created the heaven and the earth. In the beginning was the word. No, I'm talking about Genesis 1. Oh, Genesis. Genesis, Genesis, John 1 1 in the beginning was the word that means Jesus and Jesus was with God and Jesus was God okay logos in, him, in Greek and in Greek word means logos sir Habibi so if the word becomes flesh let me ask you this question if the word becomes flesh right as you said the word becomes flesh no no Bible said Bible said Bible said right, Bible said, right. Ah. the word becomes flesh yeah that means Jesus was there from the beginning in the flesh. No, Excellent. No. Yes. Right. Yes. Mm. Yes, he said Genesis. Yes. Gen Gen Genesis 18. Yes. No, 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 no. Because Genesis 18. Flesh. Genesis 18. Jesus, no, no, no. Jesus Bible, came in flesh in Testament, meeting with Jesus the Abraham. The flesh. Jesus came in flesh. Come on, Genesis 18. Yeah? No, Genesis no. 18. No. Said Jesus no, 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 please, please. Genesis. No, no, please. No, no, please. Genesis 18. Please. Read Genesis 18. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he never said please. Jesus. No, no, please. Huh? He said, the word become flesh, this is Jesus. That's right. Okay, That's right. So where, but, but how, 
Show me. Why can't you? Why can't you say? Hey, hey, hey. Or how? Hey. How can you? How can hey. you say that God cannot? Cannot. I'm not saying God cannot, but God is not the author. Huh? The Bible says God is not the author of confusion. Right. So God. if you say in the word because there, there is no you confusion, Jesus was from the beginning. So where can in you, the holy text? Can you open open, the open uh, Genesis 18? Jesus was a human being in the Old Testament coming all the way there. Can I ask you a question, where, sir? Where, can, I, can, I, can, I, can I ask you a question? Can I ask you a question? Hold on. Because if you can't, you'll give an answer after I will ask. No, no, I'm not asking no, a question. Please, an please don't interrupt me. Yeah, we'll start. Give an answer after I give you. Give, I give you. Please, please, calm down. Brother, yeah. in the Old Testament, yeah. we have the manifestation or theophany. Sometimes, for example, if you know the story of a Baal, the donkey of Balaam speak but we know the animal cannot talk the serpent speak to hold on the serpent speak to Eve we know the animal cannot talk hold on but you see the devil chose the serpent to speak to to Eve and the serpent God chose the donkey to speak to Balaam I'm not finished. so in the Old Testament we have God came in as an angel in the form of a man for example the story of Abraham That's when he went to set the uh, loot his nephew uh, out of uh, Sodom there was two angels came as the as the man and the the common loot the, the people of loot they yes. came to have sex with them and you know Abraham you know I don't you know the story yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, so you see brother we have to understand in the Old Testament God came uh, as an angel you see for example is the story of Moses Mo story of Moses Moses said show me your glory show let me see you he said no man can see me no man can see me and leave but I, 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 I tell my I will, I will show you my backside you see but you see in the New Testament we have the incarnation of Jesus Christ that means he was literally became just man like me and you he came as the baby to fulfill the prophecy of Genesis chapter 3 verse 15 and he died to fulfill the prophecy of you know the, the blood of Abel that was the highway of the cross Isaac the sacrifice Abraham was asked by God to sacrifice Isaac was the highway to the cross and the blood you know the animal sacrifice you see the animal sacrifice Habibi that was only a picture a shadow in the Old Testament when Jesus came John what John said John the baptized behold the Lamb of God he didn't say behold the prophet behold the king behold the angel he said behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world John chapter this, 1 verse 29 this story about the crucifixion let yeah. me give an example Jesus was forgiving sins uh -huh. before his crucifixion and the, and the scribes and the Pharisees said to Jesus you have blasphemed because only God can forgive sins what did Jesus say to them it is easy to say that sins have been forgiven he didn't, right. he didn't only say that he said don't you know that he, said, he said to the woman your sins are forgiven no, no. he said don't you know that the son of man not the son of god the son of man has power on earth to forgive sin which one and then, then he said habibi he to start. then he said which one is here to say that sin is forgiven or to say pick up your mouth and walk but no. first he said don't you know he said no no please don't misrepresent that brother brother Achi, I, I cannot do that with your quran yeah. you know allow me and i will not allow you on the camera to twist or misrepresent the bible first jesus christ said don't you know he said don't you know that the son of man has power on earth to forgive sin okay. which one then he said which one is here okay. to say pick up your mouth and what or oh, son your sin has forgiven okay and okay. then he said the son of man has power on earth to forgive sin okay then tell me the lord's prayer our, our father, father which are in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done in earth as in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive our debt as we forgive our debtors and lead us not into temptation but deliver from evil one for sign is the kingdom the power and the glory yeah give us our sins yeah yeah he was teaching the disciples how to pray yeah and he said ask god directly for forgiveness yeah but you see give us our sins because because jesus was you have to understand that jesus was absolutely that means very man and very god that's, that's not the okay. point, the point no, 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 that's a, he's point. teaching them to pray because no 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 no, no no we are talking about no we are talking about the resurrection if jesus christ was not yeah. resurrected from dead yeah. we have nothing to preach why? you know why because after death must be resurrection and if Jesus Christ was not resurrected, that means he was a liar. He's already in a tomb right now. That he was a liar, we can nothing to preach. But because you see that the resurrection of Jesus Christ proved that he is both God and Savior. That's true. Let me give an example. Go on. They said on the third day he rose again from the dead. Yeah. Right? Yeah. He was crucified, 
the Friday evening, according to the Bible. That's right. Which was on the day before Sabbath. That's right. And then you got Friday evening. That's right. Right. You got Saturday and yeah. then Sunday morning. That's right. It's a day and a half only. It's not three okay. days. Okay. Would you allow me to answer you? Yeah. There's no three days. So do you know about the history? About who? the history. Yeah. Okay. In a Jewish calendar. Yeah. Okay. Even before Jewish calendar, there was a calendar was uh, BC, you know, before Christ. So, for example, they say this is Friday, yeah. and we are in the last hour of Friday, for example, yeah? So, let's say, for example, Jesus was crucified on the midday, and the third hour, which means three o'clock, he gave up his call. So, the last hour of Friday will count one day and one night in a Jewish calendar. Saturday and then Sunday, the early morning, the first, Habibi, you don't know, we know. Listen. The Jewish calendar, Habibi, sir. I what know is the Jewish calendar? Um, Listen, you ask any Jew. You bring him and ask him here. Okay, what's the Friday, day of what, Friday okay, evening? What's the day of taxing in, in the Jewish calendar today? The day of taxing? Yeah. Friday. No, no, uh, the, the month. The month? Yeah. Taxing? Yeah. No, you see, you don't know, sir. But what I'm you, saying. Habibi, what I, 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 I start, with my due respect, I respect you. Because you are very patient, you are more patient no, than me. No, no, Habibi, I'm telling you, brother, I know I'm shouting, no. but I love your soul because you have a beautiful soul, and that's the first time I've been talking to you, and I respect you, and I promise I will not, you know, put you down. Hold on, hold on. No. We now, in a Jewish calendar, the last hour of Friday will count as one whole day, 24 hours. That means day and night, Saturday, day and night, and the last, the early morning hour in on Sunday, Count it as a whole day, Sunday and 24 hours. That means three days and three nights. Jesus is not lying. He said, the Jews said, give us a sign. He said, there will be no sign given unto you but the sign of Jonah. As Jonah was in the heart of the, the heart of the, the, the belly of the fish, likewise the Son of Man will be in the heart of the earth for three days and three nights. But he never died. Well, he, he died. He, he said, anyway, unto, thy, unto thy hand I commit my spirit. And he gave up his God. The Jews believe Friday evening, right? Friday evening. Once the sun is set on Friday evening, they're not allowed to do anything. The Sabbath begins from then. Okay. So that's a new day. Okay. It's not when the sun rises a new day. Okay. That was the belief of the, of the Jews. Okay. Okay. In the Sabbath. Okay, sir. This is what they believe. Now it's four. Oh, sir, no, now it's four forty, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Do you know in Iraq what time is it now? In Saudi, sir. Do you know what time is it now? I will have an idea. Sir, you have asked. What time is it in Saudi two and a half, now? Two and a half hours ahead or something like that. Sir, there's three hours ahead of us. So that means now is 7.40 yeah. in, so in Saudi Arabia, yeah, yeah. in Middle East, yeah. in general, including Turkey. So, the third hour, which means three o'clock in the afternoon, Jesus Christ gave up his spirit and, Pilate, and, and the high priest commanded to take out the body, the criminal. They break the two legs of the criminal next yeah. to Jesus. But when they came to, they put the spray on his side and water and blood came down. That was the confirmation that already did. And that is another prophecy in the Old Testament was, was, was fulfilled that none of his bones will be broken. They take down Joseph, Aramasia and Nicodemus. They had bring spices and myrrh, all kinds of things. They asked the pilot, by the permission of pilot, they take out his body and they put him in a tomb. Nicodemus and Joseph Aramias, Joseph Aramias put him in his own tomb. And then the high priest commanded the pilot to seal the stone, the door of the stone. Because this babbler, he said, this man, this deceiver, he claimed that he would rise heaven. And the soul, they make it, you know, secure. And Pilate said, don't go, you have a soldier, go do it yourself. But the Roman soldier was there. And on the third day, sir, as I told you, the last hour, sir, at the three o'clock, they took him out. They buried him before the sunset. That means five o'clock, five thirty, six o'clock, Jesus was already in a tomb. That completed the whole hour, 24 hours on Friday, 24 hours on Saturday, and early in the morning on Sunday, the first hour counted as 24 hours on Sunday. In the Jewish calendar, no, sir. I don't know, I'm not a Jewish, you are not a Jewish, but we know the history tells us that the last hour of the day and the early hour of the day count at the whole day. This is your understanding. No, it's not my understanding. That the Jewish culture. No, the Jews, no. No. The Jews the 24 hours means 24 hours. You can't get up in the morning and you got two hours in the morning and it counts as 24 hours. It doesn't. Okay. Can't. Can't. Okay, let me ask you a question. Okay, then. Okay. No, 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 me, no, please. I, I, no, no, please. No, no, please, 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 please. No, 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 I'll, I'll give one example of okay. my mother. Okay. My father was a farmer. Yeah. And I was working with my father. A farmer, yeah. And on Friday, I didn't work. Yeah. And I am early in the bed 
the sun had already a little bit rise. And my mother calling me my language, son, wake up, it's midday. It's the, it's, 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 it's the midday, it's the, it's, it's the prayer time, it's the midday, wake up. But the hour have not reached it midday yet. It's early in the morning. Does my mother lie? No, that's the oral tradition. She was told, and it will, she was right. It means he's, it's late, wake up. So it was not 12 o'clock yet. And my mama is shouting and screaming, wake up, son, it's midday. Listen, I lived in Stamford Hill. I lived in no. Stamford Hill for 10 years. All right? And the Jews there, they used to live in Stamford Hill. They would come to me on Friday evening, after the sun is set. And they would say to me, son, can you turn this light off? Can you do this for me? Can you do this for me? And they explained to me that we are not allowed to do anything because the Sabbath is already done. So, from the evening to the next morning, this is Sabbath. Thank you very much. Before the sunset. Yeah, I agree with you. That's a Jewish Sabbath. But we are, the, the Sabbath will not apply to us as a Christian because we are not a Jew. The Sabbath was only given to the Jew. And there was the reason why there was given the Sabbath to the Jew in the wilderness, in Mount Sinai. There was the reason, sir. You should know about that. So let's come back to the question. So the, the last hour of Friday counted 24. The early hour of Sunday counted 24. That's three days and three nights. Absolutely. Jesus, Jesus was no lying. So you see, brother, we have to understand. For example, God bless you. You are from South America. Okay? So in, in, your, in your country, where you born, your ancestor, if I come to your village, you have your own tradition culture. And I have to ask you, sir, what's your name, sir? My name is Christopher. John. John. Brother John, when you invite me to your village, I have to abide under your law. The law of the land, yes. Yeah. I have to abide yes. under the law of the land. Yes. Otherwise, I will be arrested. So then you talk about your culture, tradition, and ritual, things like that. Because every country, every language, after the bail was con got Where confused. Are you from? I told you, I'm Kurdish from North Iraq. Okay. North Iraq. Where's the place? Uh? It's in, uh, we, we, I'm Kurdish by race. There's, Kurdish, okay. there's Kurdish in Turkey, in Iraq, in Iran, in Syria, and some part of Azerbaijan. Okay. So I know a little bit Arabic because I grew up studying and, you know, high school and things like that, but I cannot talk properly, but I now phrase uh, things there, I know I can make it up a sentence. But what I'm saying, sir, if I take you as a guest to my country, I have to introduce it to my family, okay? There's a, the, the Kurdish, they have the very rich culture, which is different from Arab, but now it's been influenced by the Arab, by the Turk, by the Persian, because we are the minority. So here I'm saying, sir, if you go to Jerusalem right now, you and I must abide by the law of this country, okay? in order to carry on and do our activity. If we trespass, we'll be arrested. So here we have to understand, sir, in a time, even in even the Roman culture was different compared to today. Even this culture here today, women were not dressing like half naked, you know, things like that. It's been changed by man, by, by fashion. So we have to understand, we have to understand. Jesus was talking to a Jew. He was not talking to me and to you, a Gentile. He's old, yeah, he's old, he himself was a Jew. His audience was on, not only ordinary Jew, so he had, you know, Pharisees, Sadducees, scribes, lawmakers, very extreme, yeah, Canaanite, very extreme, Samaritan, very extreme sects of his time. And always, always the religious people were putting Jesus down. The demon and the non-believer, they call him Jesus, but the Pharisees and Sadducees, they call him a what? The son of a pastor. They call Jesus, God bless, God, God for me. They call him you know, a pastor. They call him, you are demon possessed. You do what you do by the power of Jezebel, the devil. Brother, so you have, we have to understand, we are different from 2,000 years ago. The culture is different. But the Bible today applied to us as much as applied to people 2,000 years ago. And here in the Quran, clearly said, I can show you the reference, I give you the reference. He said, let the people, the Ahl Kitab, you understand, Ahl Kitab, the people of the book, the people of the script, let judge, let them judge by what Allah has revealed in the scripture. So, Habibi, Akhi, in the time of Muhammad, there were 60,000 copies of the Bible. And if this Bible is corrupt and changed, they have to collect all this 60,000 Bible copy, burn it, and then produce their own copy. As uh, the Samaritan, they have their own copy of Torah, the 
the five books of Moses, which is Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy, is nothing, is not equivalent to these five books we have in the Bible. It's not equivalent to the Jewish Torah. They have their own copy. We know that, you know that probably. But you see, in the time of Muhammad, there were 60,000 copies of the Bible. The New Testament and the Old Testament in Hebrew and Greek. What were the Apocrypha? The Why Apocrypha. Were they taken out? We, we don't taken because out? I don't know. So on the Council, I'm, I'm I'm still learning. On the Council of Sinai, they came up with this 66 books. Nicaea, yeah. six sorry, yeah. Nicaea, 66 books. If you go to the Greek Orthodox or no Greek Orthodox, the, uh, the Russian and Aspectan Greek Orthodox, they have extra books like the Council. They have the Apo what they call it. Apocrypha. Apocrypha. So they have an, an, another seven add to the Bible. But you see, I don't know, the theologian came up with uh, 66 books. And that's all we say is not completed. Well, uh, that's what you say, but we believe that it's completed. Because the book of Revelation is sealed by saying nobody can add and nobody can take away from this book.